Jesse, the house has been sold. The new owners are expected at any moment. Where do you think you're going? Inside. I bought the place. Everyone is talking about AI, but Meta just proved they are done with talk by spending $2 billion on a startup called Manus AI. Meta has already spent over $120 billion on AI, yet it was missing AI agents that can actually do real work. Manus builds AI agents for WhatsApp and Instagram businesses that can reply, take orders, and manage tasks. That long wait for a reply on WhatsApp may soon be gone. What is Manus AI exactly? To understand this deal, you have to understand that Manus isn't your typical AI that just writes poems or answers trivia. It is built to be autonomous, which is just a fancy way of saying it can finish tasks from start to finish without a human holding its hand. Most AI today is like a smart student who can tell you the answer, but Manus is more like an employee who can actually go and do the work. It can create full presentations, edit videos, look at complicated data, and even write up reports all on its own. Meta realized they were a bit behind in this specific race. While companies like OpenAI and Google were building these worker AIs, Meta was mostly focused on the tech behind the scenes. By buying Manus, they basically skipped 18 months of hard work and went straight to having a product that is already battle-tested. This isn't just a chatbot, it is an execution layer that can actually check things off your to-do list. The real genius of this move lies in WhatsApp and its 2 billion users. A huge number of those people already use the app to talk to businesses, but right now, that experience can be a bit slow. If a small shop wants to use AI, it's usually just a basic bot that gives scripted answers. But imagine if a tiny clothing brand could have an AI agent that answers every customer question instantly, processes orders, takes payments, and even handles returns. This would be like a small business owner hiring a full-time employee for a tiny fraction of the cost. Experts think Meta could charge these businesses anywhere from $50 to $500 a month for these agents. If even a tiny percentage of the 200 million businesses on Meta's platform sign up, we are talking about billions of dollars in new revenue. Do you think you'd trust an AI to handle your shopping orders? Or do you still prefer talking to a real person? It's not just about boring business tasks. Instagram is a massive part of this plan too. The platform is full of creators who are essentially one-person companies, and their jobs are exhausting. They have to edit videos, reply to thousands of comments, and track their stats every single day. Manus AI is perfect for this because it can help creators automate the parts of the job they usually hate. It can analyze which posts are doing well, help edit reels, and engage with fans while the creator is asleep. Meta wants to make it so easy to be a creator that everyone wants to stay on Instagram instead of moving to TikTok or YouTube. By 2027, some experts say adding these tools could help Meta bring in an extra $25 billion. That makes a $2 billion purchase look like a total bargain, doesn't it? This is where Meta is being really strategic. Companies like Google and Microsoft are fighting over the Fortune 500, the biggest companies in the world. They want to sell AI to huge banks and massive car companies. Meta is doing the exact opposite by going after the long tail of millions of small and medium businesses that can't afford a team of developers to build custom AI. These businesses already use Facebook and Instagram every single day to reach their customers. Meta doesn't need to teach these owners new tricks or force them to download new software. They just need to put a Hire AI Assistant button right inside the apps they are already using. It is zero friction. If you already run your entire business on WhatsApp, why would you ever go anywhere else? You might wonder why a successful startup like Manus would sell so early especially since they were already making about $125 million a year. The truth is, the AI world is a scary place for a small company. The competition is insane, and fighting giants like OpenAI is like a local grocery store trying to fight Walmart. You need billions of dollars just to keep the servers running. There was also a lot of geopolitical stress. The founders of Manus are Chinese, but the company is based in Singapore, 
Being caught between the US and China is very tough for a tech company right now. By joining Meta, an American giant, those problems mostly go away. Plus, Manus could never reach 3 billion people on its own. Meta gives them a teleport button to every phone on the planet. Would you turn down $2 billion if you were in their shoes? Of course, buying a company is the easy part. Making it work is where things get tricky. Meta has to take the brain of Manus and plug it into the body of WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook. These apps are huge and complicated, and if the AI starts acting weird or making mistakes, it could ruin the experience for billions of people. There is also a big culture problem to solve. Startups like Manus move fast and take risks, while big companies like Meta have a lot of rules and layers of bosses. If Meta smothers the Manus team with too much red tape, the magic might disappear. To prevent this, Meta is letting Manus stay somewhat independent for now. And let's not forget the lawyers. Every country has different rules about privacy, and Meta is already under a giant microscope. This deal tells us a lot about where the entire AI industry is going. For the last couple of years, it was all about research and building the biggest, smartest model. Now, the era of products has officially started. Investors are tired of waiting for AI to make money, and they want to see profits right now. Meta's move shows that autonomous agents are the next big thing. It's no longer enough to have an AI that can just talk. You need an AI that can act. It also shows that the big platforms are winning. Because Meta already has the users, they don't have to spend years finding customers for Manus. The customers are already there, checking their notifications every five minutes. The reach of a platform with 3 billion users is simply unbeatable. In the next year or two, your experience on Meta's apps is going to change completely. You might see Manus-powered assistants helping you organize a birthday party in a group chat, or helping you design an ad for your side hustle. This $2 billion bet is Meta's way of saying they aren't just a social media company anymore. They want to be the layer of AI that runs your daily life and your business. If this works, Meta becomes more than just a place to see photos. It becomes an essential tool that you can't live without. If it fails, it's just another expensive experiment. What do you think? Are you ready to let an AI agent handle your business chats? Or does the idea of autonomous AI making decisions for you feel a bit too much? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.